Hello. This video is going to be about the difference quotient. I will define to you what the difference quotient is, and I'll highlight its importance. Whenever you take higher level mathematics courses, such as calculus, you will be utilizing the difference quotient. However, in pre-calc 1, the difference quotient is just a simple definition. If you have a function f of x, its difference quotient is this ratio f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. So what does this mean? Well, you'll understand what this means when I give you an example. For example, let f of x equal something like something simple, 3x plus 2. Then its difference quotient is f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. Notice that when I plug in x plus h for every x I see here, I get 3 times the quantity of x plus h plus 2, some parentheses, minus what f of x was, 3x plus h, sorry, 3x plus 2, and then all over h. Now, I distribute this 3 and subtract that term here. So I get this is equal to 3x plus 3h plus a 2 minus a 3x minus a 2 all over h. I cancel out the 3x terms. I cancel out the minus 2 terms. And I notice that now all that remains is a 3h all over h. I can cancel out these h's. And I get that the difference quotient is 3 for the function f of x is equal to 3x plus 2. But let's kick it up a notch. Let's add a quadratic function. Let's let f of x equal to x squared minus x. Okay? Let's take its difference quotient. Well, f of x plus h minus f of x all over h is now 2 times the quantity x plus h quantity squared minus x plus h all of this in parentheses, minus our original function, f of x, 2x squared minus x, all over h, okay? Bring this down here. We're going to have to FOIL that x plus h quantity squared term. This is 2 times x squared plus 2, 2 times the quantity, x squared plus 2xh plus h squared. My, and I'm going to distribute this minus. I get minus x minus h. Close these parentheses. I distribute this negative minus 2x squared plus x all over h. Okay? I'm going to clear up some real estate here. This was the definition. I'm going to remove that. I'm going to work from right to left. Now I have this 2. I want to distribute it through here and I'll combine some like terms. So this x cancels out with this negative x. And I will distribute this 2 here to become a 2x squared plus 4xh plus 2h squared minus the h minus the 2x squared all over h. All right, now this 2x squared and this 2x squared can go. And now I notice that this term has an h. This term has an h, this term has an h. I can pull out an h out of each of them. Doing so, clear up some more room. Doing so results in a h out here. I have a 4x plus a 2h minus a 1, because that's what happened when we send it back in, all over h. I'm using brackets here. I'm using parentheses here, but it really doesn't matter. Brackets and parentheses in this case are the same. However, brackets and parentheses are not always the same in mathematics. In this case, they are. Okay? Now we cancel out these h's here. So we get the difference quotient is 4x plus 2h minus 1. This is the difference quotient of our function f of x is equal to 2x squared minus x. Hope that you have enjoyed this video. Like, comment, and subscribe. I'd love to hear all of your questions about the difference quotient.